welcome to my new how to video today I'm gonna show you one way to clean up your photographs in Adobe Photoshop I chose this photograph because uh, it's you know you can see uh, pretty dirty uh, yeah. it's pretty dirty yeah it got stains all over it and stuff uh, I mean it's a the way you don't want picture to look uh, so I'm not no uh, professional or anything I don't know the best ways to work in Photoshop but I got some uh, skill in it so if it helps you okay if it doesn't correct me send some suggestions that you use I don't know but this is like pretty good and easy which is <laughs> maybe the most impor important thing for me because I don't want <laughs> a lot of time <coughs> I don't want this work to take a lot of time uh, that's what I wanted to say so let's make this editable by double clicking the layer and just clicking OK so this is now layer 0 you can name it if you want it doesn't matter um, so let's get started um, first I wanna get rid of the all these uh, spots uh, on the I mean it, it was something on the camera or dirty, dirty lens uh, so this picture is like very greasy and shit <laughs> so Adobe Photoshop CS3 extended uh, has exactly the tool for this so click here on the spot healing brush tool or click J you, uh, you see spot healing brush tool, healing brush tool, patch tool, red eye tool uh, for now let's just stick to spot healing brush tool you can uh, right click and choose the diameter I'm gonna first take a little bigger one just to cover the big stains uh, put hardness on 100% and I think you can I'll just leave it be there now uh, you can zoom in a bit ah, that's zooming up and start clicking see I mean the results won't be perfect but it gets rid you, you can get rid of all the most spots they are very annoying and don't look very good I'm just gonna pause the video so you don't have to look uh, the whole process there I clean it up a bit so I think you can see the difference now uh, so just to make it look a bit better you can now click right click uh, on the spot healing brush tool and choose healing brush tool Click Alt. And just go over the edges. And then to all the places that I couldn't uh, because Ah uh, no, the, the brush just didn't work. There, it's a bit better. And I just think that's that's looking good. So the next the next thing, well, I think the picture is a little too bright. It was a basement party for New Year's Eve, 
so it was dark and uh, it's uh, it's like uh, I don't know it looks weird when the picture was taken it was a uh, you know I don't know how to say it in English English uh, blitz or something <laughs> I don't know uh, so the lighting lightning is a little too much so <coughs> the thing I'm gonna do right now is to uh, you know choose this layer and it's already chosen uh, click alt and go down, down here where it says uh, create new fill or adjustment layer alt, click Check this box, use previous layer to create clipping mask and uh, choose this black slider just to darken up the picture until you're satisfied. Well, I think this is like okay. Okay. When you're satisfied, click OK. Now, you see, this looks pretty good. Well, next thing I'm gonna do is adjust uh, curves a bit. Curves. Check this box again, click OK, and then, well, Stop dragging. Start dragging. Hmm. It's a bit too dark. Well, this actually looks pretty good. I'm satisfied. Okay. And this is actually it. I don't need to do anything more about it. And here is our product, which looks pretty hot. Okay, just to show you what we. done here I mean look at this it's this looks excellent so I'm I'm pretty sure there is a better way of doing this but like I said I'm no pro I just do what I think it's best so if you have some other suggestions I would be glad to hear it, but until then you can use this pretty simple stuff. Okay, uh, thank you for listening and see you later.